Morning everyone, Nottingham Shabbatist fans. Long time no see. Um, been in hibernation for the past few weeks. Got through Christmas, got through New Year. Uh, had some real awful weather. Uh, just a quick word. One reason I haven't been on is because I lost my dad before Christmas. Uh, his funeral was, was last week. We gave him a good send off. He was 91 years old. Uh, he was a great dad. Great times, great memories. Um, end of an era. But uh, but we live on, we carry on. So, update for what's happening in um, 2023. Um, this is the, this is my Brompton S6E with Kojak. So I'm thinking about taking this rack off actually and these skate wheels I've sort of I've had me fussy out my skate wheels so I think they'll come off and I'll just put some standard Brompton rollers on um, <clears throat> that's the that's the summer bike uh, along with the P line uh, so I'm hoping this is going to get some action this year in the nice weather with having no mud guards on you'll notice the space where the uh, where the Conway trailer tent was. I did hope that was going to be a project and it was going to be my accommodation for a few weeks in the in the Netherlands. Um, it had to go because I couldn't erect it on my own. Uh, I tried a couple of times and I could open up the main part of the trailer tent. The rest of it the extension, the canopy, the awning, I just, there's, there's, I could not do it on my own using all sorts of aids to help hold poles and that so so that's gone to a new home which is unfortunate because that now leaves me with the decathlon air tent which I love and the uh, beloved Bilingo which is uh, going to be the accommodation for many trips away you've seen the Bolingo videos uh, that got through the MOT service and some necessaries maintenance stuff done uh, at the end of last year <coughs> so that's good to go that's going to be the trip to the Netherlands I think we'll take the Bolingo I've got one of the decathlon uh, family four uh, can of tents that goes on the back so that'll probably go with me or the air tent I don't know if I take the air tent it, I can use it as a canopy and, and I've got a double head accommodation system then really either sleep in the car or in the tent so the Netherlands trip's going to be on uh, that sh I guess that's going to be with a Brompton probably this this one because it's fairly light I shan't be taking the p-line over to the Netherlands I don't think I don't know um, other than that, horses are good. Life's good in Mansfield. We've got some, for some snow forecast for next week, a weather warning. So I've got a snow change in the Bilingo. I've got the truck which is over at the over at Rainworth at the moment, so I'll be able to get about. But just a short update as to where we are, what we've done, what's happened. Um, Let's make 2023 a better year than, well, for me, the previous 62 years. I think every year we should make better no matter what circumstances are thrown at us by various governments. Um, it's no excuse not to have a good life, is it? Uh, energy bills rolled in. My energy bills now, uh, what it was a month, is the same price a week uh, I've cut the energy down right back I've cut the boiler down I did have a new boiler 18 months ago that's helped because I did save money immediately when it went in and my energy bill's gone from well I was paying 54 quid a month standing or direct debit they assessed that to be a requirement of 275 pounds a month um, so I've trimmed the heating right down, and I've turned it off, it's turned off at the minute, just because it's a nice day and it's not cold. And uh, 
this month's energy cost is cost me 270 250 271 pounds i think this month's payment that's after the deduction of the government's 67 pounds so that's a short sharp shot and shock in the pocket um but i can address that it's seem to be paying more to keep warm than i am on food and i do eat a lot of food anyway that's the update thought show this brompton cool bike kojak's on it 12 and a half percent reduced gearing brilliant bike absolutely amazing probably getting a new chain but it's not a it's not an eight speed chain so i don't know what's uh anyway it does a job it's only got two gears to shift so that's a little update nothing else to report and uh i'll catch you soon hopefully an overnight in the van late in the month temperatures we've had a couple of temperatures where it's been sort of seven seven degrees at night and i can cope with seven degrees at night with no heating so maybe a a, a day out in the van and I'm thinking of doing a series of essentially 24 hours in with the Brompton in the van probably 24 hours in Peterborough 24 hours in Leicester 24 hours in Chesterfield 24 hours in Chef somewhere so I shall use the van I shall probably use I'll use the app park for the night I'll take a Brompton and I'll go in the van we'll have an overnighter not stealth, just an overnight, you just parked up discreetly somewhere, I don't, stealth is a load of crap, <coughs> just parked up somewhere discreetly, in the van, overnight, Brompton, probably find some decent food, and uh, so I'm going to do a series on that, um, I did do a test run over to Whiz Beach last year, that was a fantastic trip, so I might do Whiz Beach again, I loved, I loved it in Whiz Beach, so yeah, some 24 hours in, with Bilingo and Brompton. Look out for those. Other than that, have a great new year and uh, see you in the summer when it's gorgeous and warm and we can ride, sit back, relax. Thank you for watching.